Poetry in motion, you know, this thing is uh, way ahead of its time. It's gorgeous lines. It's, when you wash the car, it's, it's almost uh, sensuous, just, you know, the curvatures in this thing. And they're just gorgeous, whether you're washing the car, it's a joy just to wash the darn car, you know, uh, or seeing it drive by. It's just, you got these timeless, sensuous lines. Getting gas in this thing is a real chore because it takes an hour to get in and out of a gas station because all of a sudden you've got 20 people around. How fast does it go? What year is this? Uh, how long have you had it? So, all the questions, you know. I built a model of this car when I was probably 10 years old. It just kind of grabbed me then. It was one of those little dollar plastic models and um, Painted it silver. Thought this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous car. Someday, you know, I'm going to have one of these things. Everybody should be able to set a goal as a 10 year old child and fulfill it. There was no miracle in my story. Um, I think uh, it shows that anybody can do anything if you start early enough and keep that dream alive, you know. It took me 30 years to get to the point to get it, but. Here it is, so anybody that wants one, keep the dream alive. Most of the cars do not get driven to, uh, to convention. If somebody pulls up in one of these, which is usually, you know, my wife and I, you know, we're the crazy Californians that, that drive the car, you know, through, uh, through storms and uh, you know it's nothing to hop in it and drive from here to Vail. There's always a storm or two along the way so sometimes a little road chip, a cracked windshield or uh, you know there's always some minor damage that happens. And most of the cars get winched out of a big semi, pushed up into the, into the display area you know and with gloves and then they get pushed back into the semi and sometimes they'll attempt to start and they move them 20 feet and they'll sputter and it's just it's so so sad and this thing starts right up and uh, runs right up on the ramp as proud as can be when you drive the car to a conference you know you probably devalue it you know a small amount every time you make a cross country run but uh, yeah, who's uh, who's counting i guess it gets driven often it's driven hard this car truly runs we could get in it and Go to New York right now in it and have no problem uh, going non-stop. It's a way to keep them running and keep them on the road. It'd be a shame not to drive it. If I get too old and I can't get in it, so I guess it'll be time to, uh, to let it uh, pass to another guardian, you know, because it'd be a shame to tie this, the car like this down. <laughs>